What is your best personal finance tip? Pay off your credit card balance every month. Start retirement savings in your 20s if possible, and don't ever tap into it until you retire. Max contributions to a Roth IRA as early as you can. Learn to live without it. Cook your own food. Oh yeah. I've got my meals down to $2.3 a meal depending on how nice I go. Sometimes that number jumps to $6 plus meal if I'm doing some fresh seafood, but overall I'm still saving money. Big time. In my household this is where most of our money gets thrown. Take full advantage of employer match benefits. It's free money, or as close as an average worker is ever going to get. Time in the market beats timing the market. This is great. You know this is true because it rhymes 401k matching. Do it yes. Not taking the maximum your employer will match means leaving money on the table. Also be aware of vesting schedules. Some companies make you stay for 5 years before you get to keep all of the match that they give you. However, if you are getting sub-inflationary raises, i.e. to percent, then it's worth running the numbers to see if it's worth moving on even before fully vesting. If there's something you're on the fence about buying, think about it for a week before buying it, chances are you might not want it as bad as you thought you did. Helped me so much with my impulsivity. Jerk off before making any major decisions my favorite bible verse. If you have problems with spending on non-essentials start to think of prices in terms of how many hours of work it costs. Many people should do this more often. The mindset is so powerful. The more you make, the less well it works. If you can't afford to buy it for times, you can't afford it. Exceptions for vehicles and houses. Looks like I can't buy groceries this week. Honestly, for me personally as someone with a legit anxiety disorder, don't overthink it. Planning is good. Being aware of costs and not being frivolous is good. But on the other side of that seesaw is not stressing about every last dollar every moment of the day. Get a goal, allow some wiggle room if you have that luxury, and then try and just enjoy where you're at in the moment. This. Be aware of your money, but don't let it rule your life. There's no use being an 80 year old millionaire who didn't utilize his youth for anything fun because he was overly concerned about money. Also, don't out of frugality wait to fix car problems or dental issues, because they can rapidly get more expensive and you won't even notice until you finally bite the bullet. Yep. I think this happened to me with a plumbing issue, I'm a homeowner. Although to be fair. I wasn't even aware of it until my parents pointed out that my trough shouldn't be filling up with water when I do the laundry. It ended up costing me almost $6,000, Australian, to fix because a tree root had damaged one of the pipes. Plumbers are expensive. My house, townhouse actually, had been rented out for years before I bought it and it wasn't well maintained. Save or pay down debt and live off the rest. If I want something then I will think about it 3 times and then if I have the money buy it. If something still works, I don't need to replace it. The more I work now, the less I have to work later. Begin investing in a retirement account a sap. You'll thank yourself later. Also, don't trade it yourself unless you know what you're doing. Let the pros do this. Manage your bank account like a business. Know where every penny went, and keep track of wasteful spending such as eating out, drinks, etc. Track each week and then set an acceptable amount of wasteful spending, save the rest. Begin planning investment vehicles that can generate extra income, then formulate a plan to begin that investment. Avoid accruing large balances on credit cards, interest rates will blow up that account over time. If a must, make a plan to quickly pay off the balance or have good credit, transfer to interest-free account and pay it off. Develop a millionaire mindset early in life, how to make the most out of what you got. Lots of good books out there. <laughs> Subscribe to our personal finance and read the hell out of their frequently asked questions. This right here changed my financial life when I joined years ago. Also are churning once you're good with finances. <laughs> no flair so I'll say I'm 40. In my opinion the concept of learn how to audit yourself doesn't get enough attention. 
Paying off credit cards and creating a budget are good advice but neither addresses spending habits which is where you can really make a difference in your life. Whether it's an app or a download from your online account it's critical to know where your money is going. Rent mortgage and other bills are easy to account for, I'm taking about everything else, the financial death by a thousand small transactions expenses. Look at how much you're spending on food, alcohol and other discretionary expenses. Maybe you're into clothes. Maybe it's video games. Really combing through your expenses can be eye-opening. In my case I was shocked by how much I was spending on takeout food and coffee. Buying a house with my fiancé, now wife, gave me the push I needed to make real changes. Without a lot of effort I've been able to save over a $200 a month on food and coffee alone. I still periodically download my statements and review them. Complacency is another financial no-no. Thought number 2. Assuming you make a reasonable wage your spending will have an unfortunate habit of adjusting to your income. I'm talking about raises specifically. It's easy to get a raise and think I'm rich, until suddenly you're not because you ignored my first point and started blowing all your newfound wealth on stuff you probably didn't need. Those are two lessons I've definitely learned the hard way, I don't want to sound like I'm preaching. Most people will tell you how you should be saving money. And they're absolutely right. But the biggest thing you should be focusing on is raising your income. Better to have a high income and mediocre saving habits than a mediocre income with high saving habits. Why? Look at it like this. Let's say you make 30k dollars a year after taxes. The first 20k dollars of that is living expenses, and the other 10k dollars is savings. Now let's say you double your post tax income, so now you have 60k dollars. Again the first 20k dollars of that is living expenses, and the entire 40k dollars left over is savings. So you doubled your income, but your savings rate quadrupled. Now you may be thinking what about lifestyle inflation? That's a fair point, even for a frugal person. But even if you spend an extra 10k dollars a year so your expenses are 30k dollars a year, you still have 30k dollars to save. And thus you still tripled your savings by only doubling your income. A lot of times I see people on Reddit pride themselves with their savings rate. They talk about how all those people in luxury cars are overextending themselves. But look at it like this. Let's say you have a 66% savings rate, by saving 20k dollars of your 30k dollars a year income. Now you see someone driving around in a Ferrari, and you come to find out he only has a pitiful 10% savings rate. But he puts so much energy into growing his income, he's making 500k dollars a year at this point. So even though his savings rate is pitiful, he's still saving 50k dollars a year compared to your 20k dollars a year. From there you'd probably say well that's no good because he will never be able to retire to support his fancy lifestyle. That's a good point. However, consider what's easier. Is it easier for a rich guy to wise up and start saving more money so he can retire? Or is it easier for a poor guy to grow his income from 30k dollars a year to 500k dollars a year? That's why people usually give advice about savings instead of income. Because advice for savings is something you can apply literally overnight. Anyone can do it and the advice is relatively straightforward. It's a solved game. However making money isn't so much a solved game. But it's much more important because there's no limit to how much money you can make. Whereas there's clearly a limit to how much you can save every year, it's bounded by your income. Don't take financial advice from me. Big disclaimer, this is solely for entertainment purposes only, and is not financial advice from Reddit Finance. Thank you so much for watching the whole video, you're amazing. Have a good day.